Hey folks, Eric here from DirtyOldSneakers.com. Today I'm going to talk to you about the Asics Roadhawk FF2. I want to be really upfront, I'm not getting paid for this review, but I did get these sneakers for free, so thank you Asics. So a quick note before we get into the review, if you like gear reviews, race reviews, or anything endurance sports related, smash that subscribe button below. More importantly, hit the, I think it's over here, hit the bell next to it so you get notified when I put new reviews up uh, every week. I'm also doing a series on the New York City Marathon this year, tips and tricks, insider tips, course strategy, what it's like in the Athlete's Village, where you can send your family to watch on race day, so all that kind of things. You can see that I put up a video last week, should you check bags or should you do the poncho, which one would be right for you. So anyway, I am doing a series on the New York City Marathon this year, so make sure you subscribe to my channel for when I put those videos up. So let's get into the Roadhawk FF. Let's go through all of the basics first. It is a neutral shoe. It's got a 10 millimeter drop. So from heel to uh, midfoot, you're gonna be dropping 10 millimeters. As if you were subscribed to my channel, if you've seen my other reviews, I really like the 10 millimeter drop because I feel like it propels you a little bit forward. This is a really low cost shoe. It comes in at hundred bucks. I really like that. It's the most accessible shoe that I've worn in the last, I don't know, I would say year. What I like about the price is that they're hundred bucks, but they don't feel cheap. Like when you strap the shoe on, you feel like you're wearing a solid shoe. The FF stands for Flight Foam. This is the second incarnation of the Roadhawk, so that's why it's the number two. The Flight Foam is a six proprietary midsole technology. They're putting it on the majority of the shoes these days, the majority of their running shoes, and the majority of the shoes that I've been wearing. And I really like it. I think it gives a really good uh, return on the energy that you're putting down. So what is different about the Roadhawk than other Asics shoes? This is going to be a little more snug fitting. Now it's not going to be a tight fit, but it's going to be a bit more snug fit. So you're not going to get that room in the toe box to spread your toes out really wide. They're also lighter than what I'm used to. Now this is a shoe that is not really built for long distance running. This is going to be built more for your track workouts, for your midweek speed workouts, and for those short runs during the week. Now the reason that I say that they're not built for long distance running is because it's a bit of a lighter shoe, which means there's not uh, as much cushioning as you're gonna get in the Cumulus of the Nimbus or the Gel Kayana 25s. You're gonna get a lot of road feel out of this too, and I think that that comes from the lightness. On my scale, they came in at 9.9 .9 ounces for size 10 in men's. So what are the updates from the Roadhawk 1? Um, they have the seamless upper now, which is great. I never found that I got blisters from wearing shoes that had multiple panels on their upper but it seems to be the trend these days to go to a seamless upper so you're not getting anything hitting your toes while you're running. Now, ASICS has what they call their AHAR outsole, which stands for ASICS High Absorption, High Absorption Rubber. I mean, to me, that sounds like a bit of marketing. It's a decent outsole. It's got good grip and it's super durable. I think that's about it, folks. I definitely give this shoe a thumbs up for, like I said, midweek track work, midweek speed work, and short distance runs. I wouldn't do anything over, I would say, a 10K in these. Definitely gonna add these into the rotation for my weekday runs, but not my long distance runs on the weekends. If you like this review, smash that like button below, get this up the YouTube algorithm a little bit more. And like I said before, if you like gear reviews, race reviews, or anything during sports related, hit that subscribe button. But again, more importantly, the bell next to it so you get notified when I put up reviews every week. And uh, thanks for tuning in. I will see you next time.